Long periods without rain in desert areas make life very difficult. Farming, raising animals, and even daily survival become a struggle. Because of this, farmers living in deserts usually don't have a steady or good income. But in the middle of the Kabuki Desert in Inner Mongolia, there is a place called Dalad Banna where life is very different. Farmers there raise millions of rabbits, and these rabbits have completely changed the desert and brought people a lot of money. The story may sound simple, like China just released a bunch of rabbits into the desert, but the truth is much more complicated. The Kabuki Desert is massive, covering more than 7,200 square miles, making it China's seventh largest desert. Winters there are extremely cold, yet workers still go out to battle the moving sand. They build and repair special straw fences arranged in checkerboard shapes across the desert. These fences are very important because they stop the strong winds from blowing sand away, reduce erosion, and help keep moisture in the ground. Repairs are always done in winter because workers need everything ready before spring winds arrive. Once the winds blow, the straw structures are tested against nature's power. This fight against desertification is not new. In the 1950s and 1960s, the Chinese government strongly supported sand control efforts in Inner Mongolia. They built sand control stations and began planting trees along the desert's northern edge. Over the decades, these projects made cities in the area greener and healthier. Since Inner Mongolia is one of the most desert-affected regions in China, sand control has always been a top priority. The government continues to run programs like the Three North Shelter Belt Forest Program, which focuses on planting trees and restoring land. They have also set rules against grazing in certain areas, since too many animals eating plants causes the land to lose vegetation and increases desert spread. By 2024, Inner Mongolia not only reached its yearly environmental goals but went far beyond them. The region achieved 113% of its target for stopping desertification and 148% of its tree planting goal. This means Inner Mongolia now has the largest forest area in China, about 59 million acres, along with grasslands covering nearly half of the region. These achievements brought back green life to areas that were once nothing but dry sand. Today, when you look at parts of the desert, you see plants, bushes, and even animal tracks like those of deer. The transformation is striking. But where do rabbits fit into this story? Rabbits turned out to be an important part of the desert's development. Farmers discovered that raising rabbits could help improve both their economy and the environment. Millions of rabbits now live in Dalad Banna, and they are not just a source of food and fur, but also a major source of income. The money earned from rabbit farming gave locals the resources to invest more in environmental protection. This balance between farming rabbits and fighting desertification has changed the lives of thousands of people and reshaped an area of land once thought impossible to live in. In deserts, it's almost impossible for farmers to make a good living because there's little rain, poor soil, and almost no way to raise animals on a big scale. But in the Kubuki Desert in Inner Mongolia, people found an unusual solution. Rabbits, more specifically, rex rabbits. At first, it sounds strange to think rabbits could help fight desertification, but the way everything connects makes it clear. It all began when a local entrepreneur decided to invest in planting willow trees in the desert. Willows are drought-resistant, have strong root systems that hold sand in place, and are valuable for making high-quality paper. The problem is that after about three years, willow trees need special care or their value drops quickly. That's where rabbits came in. Rex rabbits love to eat young willow shoots, and after they chew them down, the thicker stems can still be used to make paper or particle boards. In this way, the willows and rabbits supported each other while also benefiting the people. Rex rabbits are not ordinary rabbits. Their fur is extremely soft, similar to otter fur, and is far more valuable than their meat. They also reproduce very quickly, up to 25 times faster than many other animals and they thrive in the dry desert climate. The fur from rabbits raised in the Kubuki Desert is considered very high quality because of the environment. Since nothing goes to waste in China's farming systems, almost every part of the rabbit is used. The fur is made into clothing, toys, or luxury goods. The meat, even if less valuable than the fur, is still eaten. Rabbit manure is turned into fertilizer, 
which is especially important for desert soil. It's also used to create biogas for energy. Byproducts from processing rabbits can even be fed to other valuable animals like minks and foxes. Rex rabbits also indirectly help spread greenery in the desert. They eat grass but can't digest the seeds. When they pass the seeds through their droppings, the seeds are already fertilized and grow into new grass the following year. Bit by bit, this cycle creates more plants and less bare sand. Their habit of digging holes also helps the soil breathe and traps moisture. The project didn't just rely on trees and rabbits. The entrepreneur rented nearly 100 bulldozers to level sand dunes, fill ravines, and prepare the land for planting willows. He also encouraged locals to raise rabbits and provided support to get them started. Over time, greenhouses were built, making it possible to grow vegetables on the newly fertile soil. In 2013 alone, over 3 billion yuan, about 400 million US dollars, was invested to build new villages, which attracted farmers and herders from nearby areas. The results were remarkable. More than 3 million acres of willows have been planted. Over 2,000 rex rabbits are raised in the area, and more than 3 million are sold every year. What was once dry, shifting desert is now a place with greenery, farming, villages, and a strong economy. All made possible through a surprising partnership between people, willows, and rabbits. Farmers in Inner Mongolia who once struggled to survive now earn much more than before, with many making between 50,000 to 70,000 yuan each year, which is about $6,800 to $9,600. For over 10,000 farmers and herders, raising rabbits has completely changed their lives, pulling them out of poverty and helping them build a stable future. By 2017, reporters visiting the area noticed that the environment looked far better than it used to. The local authorities also realized how much potential rabbit farming had for both the economy and the fight against desertification. They began actively promoting the industry, which led to massive growth. By July 2017, Dalad Banner alone had around 4.5 million Rex rabbits, and the industry's total production value had reached 560 million yuan, or about $76 million. Rabbit breeding became such a powerful tool that it didn't just help locals improve their income, it also attracted migrant workers. Breeding centers were set up with thousands of cages, working like clockwork to raise rabbits in large numbers. For new farmers, it was simple to get started. All they needed was an investment of 20,000 to 30,000 yuan, or about $2,700 to $4,100, to buy breeding rabbits and cages. After that, support systems were already in place to keep things running smoothly. A family could easily make between 50,000 to 80,000 yuan a year, which is around $6,800 to $11,000. And larger farms could earn even more, sometimes over 100,000 yuan, or $13,300 annually. At first, the story of rabbits greening the desert sounded almost too good to be true. Some people compared it to Australia, which also has deserts and rabbits, but instead of helping, the animals there became pests. The difference is that in China, rabbits weren't left to spread freely. They were carefully managed and paired with tree planting, sand control, and large-scale development projects. The rabbits gave people a direct way to earn money, which motivated them to take part in protecting and restoring the land. The result was a balance between human progress and environmental recovery. The desert also became home to another major project, the Juanma Solar Power Plant. Built on what was once called the Sea of Death, this station now covers about 346 acres with more than 196,000 solar panels. These panels were arranged in the shape of a giant galloping horse, making it not only China's largest desert solar station, but also the world's largest solar image, recognized by Guinness World Records. By 2022, the project had already produced over 2.3 billion kilowatt-hours of clean electricity, equal to saving 760,000 tons of coal and cutting carbon dioxide emissions by 1.85 million tons. The solar panels brought even more benefits. They slowed down wind erosion, reduced evaporation, and even created shaded areas where crops and grass could grow. Farmers could graze livestock and even raise rabbits and sheep under the panels turning the land into a hub of different industries. By November 2020, 
the station had helped green more than 2,600 acres of desert land, something that would normally take a decade but happened here in just four years. The rabbits also played a role again, as their grazing helped control tall grass that could interfere with the solar station's work. Today, China leads the world in solar energy capacity, with hundreds of thousands of megawatts already in operation. The desert that was once barren and lifeless now provides food, fur, clean energy, and tourism opportunities. Rabbits were not the only solution, but they were a key piece in this incredible transformation. And this isn't the first time China has turned to animals for help. Back in 2000, during a locust invasion in Xinjiang, hundreds of thousands of ducks and chickens were released to eat the pests, with ducks proving especially effective, each one eating over 200 locusts a day. This story shows how creative approaches, combining nature, technology, and community effort, can completely change even the harshest environments. In many desert regions, China has found creative ways to use animals to fight back against land degradation and even food crises. Ducks, for example, have been used as a natural weapon against locust swarms. Unlike chickens, which can be chaotic and harder to manage, ducks prefer to stay in groups, making them easier to control.